This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Good morning to you. The eighth ranked UK women's basketball team had just one day to prepare for last night's matchup against Belmont. Matthew Mitchell's club looking to extend their eight game home winning streak. Michaela Epps starts us off in the second half. She drives, dishes to Asia Bishop. What a night for Bishop. 15 points, 12 rebounds, and four blocks. Whoa. Lene Harper drives, can't get it to go. Rebound. Bishop, she can't get it to go, but Harper. She starts, uh, uh, finishes what she started. 12 points for Harper, 52-40 UK. Cats using their size in the paint now. Alyssa Rice. Oh, good buckets there. The UK lead is out to 13. Later in the second half, Alexis Jennings. Two of her 10 points. Pretty hook shot there. It was quite the night for Jennifer O'Neill because she only shot one shot, so she was 100% from the field. There she is knocking down a three. Cats would... Widen the gap down the stretch. Janae Thompson, she dials one up from basically where O'Neill shot the ball. She finished with 12 points in Kentucky, improves to 10 and 1 with the 71 55 win. 10 and 1. If you if you'd laid out 10 and 1 on the, on the table for me before we started, I would, wouldn't have coached a game, and we've just all shown up here today and been happy to be 10 and 1. I'm telling you, it's, it's incredible that we're 10 and 1. Each opponent that we play comes out and gives it their all. So I feel like every team we play against, they're gonna, it's going to be a tough game, no matter if it's um, a Belmont or a Duke. Either way, it's going to be tough. All right, now to Louisville. The fourth-ranked cards taking on UNC Wilmington. Let's pick it up. Second half, Louisville up 15. Terry Rozier contact, no problem. I got you. Bucket goes. Under eight to go now in the half. Seahawks hanging around. Dylan Sherwood, three ball. Seahawks down just four. A 13-0 run turns into a 15-0 run. Cedric Williams splashes the J. The Seahawks down now just by two points. Later, Rozier. I'm going to come right back at you. Finishes with the right, and he finished with 19 points. Cards back up four. Montrez Harrell, he also goes for 19 points, but what a pass by Chris Jones there to Harrell. The card survives 68-57 and improved to 9-0 on the year. The Tennessee Volunteers hosting number 15, Butler. Second half, so where we go. Ball's down a point. Butler working the ball around the horn. Keelan Martin knocks down the three later. UT up a bucket. Tennessee gets the steal. Butler turned the ball over nine times in the second half. Tennessee with 10 steals on the game. Good ball movement off the steal. And Kevin Punter knocks it down. Donnie Tindall's all fired up as usual. And then Derek Reese. I, he didn't call that, but we'll count it. Tennessee wins 67 to 55. Now to the NFL three straight games with zero touchdown passes and two interceptions for the Cleveland Browns coming into Sunday's game with the Bengals. Last time that happened was back in 1977. Perhaps that streak could end on Sunday because look who starts. Oh, that's Johnny Manziel. No money sign from him. This fan likes the money sign, though. I'm not sure about the girl beside him, though. First quarter, no score. Jeremy Hill right up the gut, making 7-0 Cincinnati and the dance. Manziel's first drive, though, he ends on a three and outs. Third and two. Bengals just wrecking havoc on Manziel's day. Under a minute to go in the first. Wallace Gilberry sacks Manziel. Johnny sacked four, three times in this game. He gives the money sign. 25 carries, 148 yards on the day for this guy right here, Jeremy Hill. Couple stiff arms. He's in for six. Bengals up 17 0. Watch as he tries to leap into the stands. A Browns fan says, no, no. No penalty flag thrown, though, on the double face mask by the fan. Later in the half, Manziel back to pass. It's getting worse. Dre Kirkpatrick picks off Manziel, and that's not the only interception he threw later. Manziel buying some time, has time, good blocking. Uh, here comes the pressure, and here comes the sling ball. He's intercepted this time by Adam Jones. 10 of 18, 80 yards, two picks, no touchdowns in the air in Johnny Manziel's debut. Just 107 yards of total offense for the Browns. The Browns are blanked in the scoreboard for the first time since 2009, 30 to nothing. You know, I put a lot of that on me. I don't, I don't sit here saying I'm not using the rookie excuse. It's not, it's not me. Yeah, I'm a rookie, but that's, 
that's out the window. I needed to play better. I felt coming into today that I was absolutely prepared for today. Uh, being out there, I never felt overwhelmed or that, that it was too much for me. But when it comes down to it, football is football. You need to make more plays than the other team. You need to play better than the other team. And today, um, we didn't do that. It's a learning process. The more he plays, the more he's going to learn, and uh, you know, the better he'll be. So. Uh, you know, the experience is, is the is the best thing for him, and so uh, you know, see where it goes from there. And that is a final look at sports this morning. Enjoy your morning.